Every year, university students from around the world gather to compete head-to-head -head in the Association for Computer Mechanics International Computer Programming Contest. The 33rd annual ICPC was held April 20th to 21st in Stockholm, Sweden, where teams endured a five-hour battle of the brains at KTH Royal Institute of Technology, sponsored by IBM. Yep, we've got the top 100 teams from 7,109 teams who competed at 240 sites, representing 1,838 universities on six continents. Uh, these, these, these folks are, are, are the whiz kids of their generation. And they're now, of course, over there uh, <clears throat> embarrassing some of us old timers. You know, when I was a coach in 82, uh, we had a pretty doggone good team. And I remember that the time of the first uh, successful submission was four hours after the contest. We had four members on the team. We had uh, six hours uh, to compete, and it could be extended if we needed it. Uh, so uh, 20 minutes into this contest, 10, 10 teams had already <laughs> solved one problem. So that's what's great about working with, with university students. They don't know any better then, you know, we know better. We know it takes at least two years. <laughs> I don't know any better, so ten minutes later, oh, here's the solution. Uh, there is a contestant out there. I'm not going to tell you who they are. They have solved, they have written 3,000 software solutions to problems in preparation for this competition. 3,000! If I assigned 30 in a semester, I'd have a list of students over there at the provost complaining about me requiring too much of them. You see, but in a competitive environment, the sky's the limit because we're talking about them building their strength. We're talking about them finding out what really the natural limit is, and they're standing on our shoulders. Guess what? Actually, four hours to submission in the world that I lived in with uh, uh, key punch machines and, uh, and such was so pretty doggone good. Uh, but in their world, 10 minutes. It's just amazing. Canada was represented at the event by teams from McGill University, the University of Alberta, the University of British Columbia, and perennial ICPC contenders, the University of Waterloo, represented by Malcolm Sharp, Konstantin Lokriev, and Andy Yin Kong, Waterloo was looking to improve on consecutive ninth place finishes in 2007 and 2008. We got off to a very good start. Uh, we picked uh, the pro first problems to solve and uh, we were leading for the first one and a half hours. Luckily we got all the problems in our first submission. It was very unusual. Uh, and then for a while we got stuck. Uh, eventually by the end uh, we were working on three problems and uh, those three problems uh, would have meant the difference between uh, gold, uh, silver, bronze or not placing at all. And uh, so if we solved all three it would have been gold but we eventually got only one. And luckily in the very last minute of the contest which gave us the bronze medal. The competitors were honored in a ceremony at the Stockholm Concert Hall. This is where, every December 10th, Nobel Prizes are distributed. Watson and Crick stood here, where I'm standing, and received acknowledgement for the discovery of the structure of DNA. It completely revolutionized our perspective of biology. Shortly, we will confirm the results of this afternoon. But first, I'd like to acknowledge KTH Royal Institute of Technology. You've done an extraordinary job providing the finest of Swedish hospitality, infectious enthusiasm, formidable expertise, and outstanding support to ensure the success of this, the 33rd Annual ACM International Collegiate Programming Contest, sponsored by IBM and hosted by KTH Royal Institute of Technology.
representing TU, University of Waterloo. In the end, St. Petersburg State University of Information Technology, Mechanics and Optics successfully defended its crown. And uh, the contest was very good. A lot, very interesting problems, very well written. No problems at all. Next year's competition will be held in Harbin, China. For IT World Canada, I'm Dave Webb in Stockholm.